correct the pelvis if it be corrected. If it's fixed, then we need to make sure we accommodate it. So we said about pelvic instability, things that can help are things like tilted space. Um, so that's where the angle of the hip remains the same. So it's different to back angle recline where you open up the hip angle. Tilted space, the hip angle stays the same. And essentially what you're trying to do is gravity to keep the pelvis at the back of the chair. So you're using gravity to assist that pelvic stability. But it's not appropriate for everyone. Just be mindful that some people it's not safe to use tilted space. Especially if they've got swallow problems. Um, or maybe somebody who uses a catheter sometimes being in tilted position for too long and get a back flow as well. So just be mindful of tilted space. It's not appropriate for everyone. Um, and it does need to be risk assessed. But it's a really useful function to try and get that pelvic stability. We, we're starting to use more and more contoured seating as well now because somebody with that kind of complex postural requirement tends to have some form of perhaps fixed obliquity or fixed rotation. So it, it can be difficult sometimes to accommodate that on a flat surface. So we looked to contour the seat surface to perhaps accommodate or correct. Mm -hmm. And ramping as well, so you can put wedges under the actual cushion itself to ramp it. If somebody doesn't tolerate uh, tilt and space, um, sometimes we can ramp if you imagine putting a ramp in. So again, it keeps the pelvis at the back of the chair, but they'd obviously have to have the hip range of movement to mm. tolerate that as well, because we are reducing that hip range of movement. So the full point that belt can really anchor and give that pelvic stability if somebody doesn't have that postural control. Um, you do need to be mindful with them because they do need to be used tight, otherwise they can cause more harm anyway. If they're not done up correctly or used um, yeah. securely, then you're just going to end up sliding underneath it anyway. And you can, then you could have sheer of friction issues, but are really effective for pelvic stability. And you'd be surprised how sometimes something like a pelvic belt can have such an impact on our normal tone um, and, and reflexes. And it can really help down and down some of those, um, some of those abnormal movements.